So I'm just going to show you how to open the bonnet um, if your cable has broken. Now what you're aiming to do is release the end of this spring which will then undo this catch in here. It's uh, not very easy to do um, so it's best I show you with the bonnet open first. What I've got to do this is a strip of aluminium and this is about one and a half millimeters thick. Uh, it was a bit of angle iron but I've just cut it down. It needs to be at least three to four hundred millimeters long so you can hold it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in where you'd normally put your hand to release the bonnet. And when you push it forward what you're aiming to feel is you're hitting that bit there. Now you must make sure the aluminium is thick enough that it won't bend but if it's too thick you won't be able to get under that spring. So once you feel that you need to then push it under and carry on pushing it up until you can feel the end. Once you feel the end you'll be able to move it around and you'll still be able to feel you're engaged with the spring. Once you've engaged with the spring you should be able to push the spring forward and you'll feel it unlatch. Now once it's unlatched the bonnet will still stay shut because this end will still be holding it down. But you should be able to just push the bonnet down it will then release it and you should be able to open the bonnet. I'm going to demonstrate that in one take if I can. Bonnet shut will not open. Now I have cheated a bit, I've got some lines on here just to show me where to go in and I've also put a line here which indicates that I'm at the right depth. So I can feel I'm now on the spring, you can see it's moving sideways. So if I push that under the spring, I'm now under the spring, that's the end of the spring. You can see it pivoting on the end of the spring there. So now I should be able to push it forward and you heard it unlatch come back and now it's gone further back and I'm still in the spring. So the spring is now released, pull out the uh, aluminium. So there you go. Now you should be able to just open the bonnet. And as you can see the spring is now released. Uh, so that is how you open a bonnet if you have unfortunately broke your cable. I have seen videos on YouTube which have suggested the way to do it is to smash through the grills and break this and undo that. Well actually all you need is a piece of aluminium strip or you could probably use a steel ruler if you didn't mind bending it. So we're now going to try my son doing it just so I can teach him bad ways. Okay this is Thomas and I'm teaching him bad things. I'm going to open the bonnet of this car. Go on. So just to explain what we're doing, you can see the spring here and one end's retained here, the other end goes in and forms part of the catch. Can you pull the bonnet, Thomas? So you can see as you pull the bonnet release, that pulls the end of the spring in. The cable comes all the way around the bonnet, all the way around and down and then under here you can just see if you look through there where it actually attaches to the end of the spring. Now the problem is if you lose your cable, the cable breaks or is not adjusted very well, there's a screw here to do the adjustment, um, you might find you can't open your bonnet. Um, so you'll have to use the technique I've just shown you. So in my case I couldn't open the bonnet and it turned out that it wasn't actually the cable and I didn't actually need to do what I'd done. All I needed was two people, one to pull the bonnet release and one to actually pull the bonnet up and the reason was this bit here was jamming against the hole and uh, when you release the bonnet the bonnet catch was releasing but there was so much uh, friction between that and the hole that it wasn't popping up. So when you shut the bonnet this bit here goes into the hole and at a certain point it then starts compressing this spring here. Now as it compresses the spring the end of the latch 
goes behind this bit here and keeps the bonnet down. So what you're actually doing is releasing this catch and allowing the rest to spring up. 